everyone, so I'm back today with a tag video. I was lying in bed last night and I was like, what can I film tomorrow that's different? And I came up with this idea and I don't know if it's been done before, but I'm just gonna say that I came up with it myself. So it's called YouTube Made Me Buy It. And I was thinking last night of a new video I could do and then I realized YouTube has influenced me on so many products I've bought and it's really helped me to invest in good products because so many people talk about it. So then I was thinking through some of the products I had and I realized I remembered who actually talked about it in their videos and I decided to pick out 10 products and talk about them and tell you who made me buy it. So I tag all the Irish girls to do this video and I tag everybody watching this. If you don't make videos then just leave me a comment and tell me who made you buy what. And if I ever influenced you on buying anything, also let me know in the comments below. And if you want to know what YouTube made me buy, then just keep watching. So the first product I'm going to talk about is a blush from MAC and it's called Frankly Scarlet. And the girl who made me buy this is Tanya Burr from Pixie 2 Woo. And she, she just used it and it looked so nice on her skin, so I was like, I have to buy that. Tanya actually influences me on a lot of videos because I love her channel and the next thing is a lip gloss from Barry M and this one actually broke and I'm so sad but the little dope applicator is stuck in there but sometimes I just wipe it onto my lips from the wand but it's not great. But this one is in number 11 and what is it called? Coral I think it's called but it just smells amazing. It smells like food. It's really fruity. It smells like a fruit salad bar or something but I really like the colour of it but it broke. So that was influenced by Tanya again. The thing that Tanya influenced me on was this mascara and I absolutely love it. It's the Volumizer Mascara from, oh, from Bourgeois and it just really plumbs up my lashes and I really like it. So thank you Tanya for all your recommendations. The next product I'm going to talk about is this Blushable Cream Stick and this was recommended by Adora Bubbles. Uh, she's an Irish girl and she left me a comment in one of my favourite videos and I just tried it and absolutely loved it. So the next product I'm going to talk about is probably one of the most widely talked about concealers on YouTube and it's the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer and I really hate the bottle because all the writing comes off and it looks ugly but it is by far the best concealer I've ever used for under eyes. If you put on your foundation and then put on this under eyes, it, under your eyes, it gives a really nice finish and it's just really full coverage. So it covers up any other blemishes or any redness on your cheeks that you want to hide. Fleur from Fleur de Force, she talked about this on her channel and that's why I got it. The next product I'm going to talk about is a nail polish and this one is Essie Mint Candy Apple and Dulce Candy 87 actually. This is one of her favourite nail polishes, I think. I'm not a stalker, but she talked about it in a video and made me buy it because I was looking for a mint green and this one is perfect. Next thing I'm going to talk about is a lipstick and this one is Revlon Pink in the Afternoon and Annie Jeffrey, also known as Annie's Beauty Life. This is one of her favourite lipsticks, so I had to pick it up and it's one of my favourites and I absolutely love it. The next product I'm going to talk about was recommended from Alicia from X Barkage and it's just Too Faced Shadow Insurance and it's just an eyeshadow base and she uses it in nearly all of her videos, so I decided to pick it up and it's really, really good. So the second last product I'm gonna talk about is a NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, and I've heard about these a lot, but then my friend Emer, I will link her channel below, she uses these in nearly all of her videos, and she does amazing, colorful tutorials, and she always uses this white base, and it really helps the eyeshadow to stick and stand out really well. So I was recommended this by Emer. And then finally my last product is a paint pot from MAC and this one is called Painterly and this was talked about by Makeup by Tiffany D. She uses it in so many tutorials and I use this every single day as my eyeshadow base and it just really helps the eyeshadows to stick and stay all day long. So that was my tag video, I really hope you enjoyed it. I tag you all and go look through your makeup collection and try and remember who recommended what to you and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!